types of patches are used for pimples and acne treatments and in this video I'm going to discuss each of them. All three of them are hydrocolloid patches. What sets them apart are the benefits that each one offers to the skin. Hydrocolloid patches are basically patches which have got a material called hydrocolloid. Doctors have been using hydrocolloid patches for open wounds for many many years now. These patches are made up of three layers. The first layer is the adhesive. Adhesive is the layer that sticks to the skin. The middle layer is the hydrocolloid section. Now this is made up of ingredients which can actually pull the gunk out of the pimples or the open pimples or the acne. They are basically a gunk magnets. When you apply one of these patches and then remove it after some time, you'll see a lot of white material on the patch. That's a gunk. That's a gunk that's been pulled from the uh, open pimple or the acne by the hydrocolloid section. The third layer is the thick layer. That's the layer that's visible to the naked eye and that keeps these two layers in place. These patches don't work on closed pimples or blackheads. They only work on open pimples. The pimples have got that white stuff in it and acne. These patches speed up the healing process. For the wound to heal, you need new skin to come up there. If there is all that liquid and the gunk on the way, that's going to obstruct the new skin from coming up there. The hydrocolloid section, by pulling out the gunk, makes it easier for the new skin to come on top of it. It also provides partial protection against sun's UV radiation. Otherwise, the sun's UV radiation can inflame that area, aggravate it and delay the whole healing process. It also keeps the good moisture that's needed for the healing process in the skin. An open wound area, the skin in that area, the barrier function of that skin becomes a bit weak and so the water, the good moisture can easily evaporate into the atmosphere. This good moisture is needed for healing of the skin. So by putting a patch on it, we're retaining that moisture and stopping it from evaporating into the atmosphere. It also protects that area from attacks from environmental bacteria and other nasties. These get attracted to an open wound area and can inflame and aggravate the area which further delays the whole healing process. And finally, it stops you from picking that region. It stops you from touching that region. When you touch that region, you spread that germs in the surrounding skin and that can lead to pimples and acne popping up everywhere and also it can lead to scarring the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because once the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation occurs it is very difficult the scarring it's very difficult to get rid of it one quick note though not all patches can speed up the healing process some can actually worsen that region a bit more on what can actually worsen the region coming up in the video now to the three types of patches that's available in the market the first one is a plain hydrocolloid patches these are just simple hydrocolloid patches they don't have additional skincare ingredients in them the hydrocolloid section does most of the work it draws out the gunk from the open pimple or the acne. I'm going to now give you some good products that you could buy. Derma Dot Invisible Patches, these are good. Paroxyl PM Overnight ones, again a good one. Goxerex Acne Pimple Patch, Hero Mighty Patch, Next Care Patches, B Body Wise Hydrocolloid Patch, Gush Patch. This is an example of a patch that you should not use. It's got citrus oils and uh, perfume, all the things that you're not supposed to put on that inflamed region. These patches are actually quite straightforward. They do what they have to do. They don't cause any additional damages. The other two types of patches that I'm going to be talking about very soon can, if you pick the wrong one, can cause additional damage. Hydrocolloid patches should not be too expensive. If someone's offering a very expensive hydrocolloid, a simple hydrocolloid patch, just walk away from it. You can get really inexpensive ones. To use them, first cleanse your face and then apply the patch. Don't put any skincare on your face and then apply the patch. There should be no skincare product between the patch and the wound area. Don't sandwich any skincare product in between. The reason I'm repeating that is if you apply a skincare product and then put the patch on top of it, that's going to actually inflame the region further. So you put the patch and then you can apply the skincare product gently on the rest of your face. But no skincare product on top of the wound. 
The second type of patches are the hydrocolloid patches with skincare ingredients in them. So these are basically hydrocolloid patches with some additional skincare ingredients that are supposedly help in the healing process. The logic is you're delivering these healing ingredients that can treat the area straight onto the area. So that should actually speed up the healing process. The most common ingredients that you will find in these patches are salicylic acid, tea tree oil, botanical oils, um, hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Some of these patches might not have the hydrocolloid section. It will just have the skincare ingredient and the adhesive and the other layer which keeps all of them together. So without the hydrocolloid section, nothing is going to pull that moisture out. So all that those patches would do is just deliver that skincare ingredients straight onto that wound area. Some of them do have the hydrocolloid section as well. So that will remove the gunk and the skincare ingredient gets delivered to the wound area as well. A few important points that you need to be aware of is you're sealing the area with this ingredient. So the wound area will experience a full force of the skincare ingredient for a considerable period of time. The effect of this is much higher than if you were to use that skincare ingredient all over the face or even if you use that skincare ingredient as a spot treatment just in the wound area. And that is why a lower concentration of the skincare ingredient in a patch is much better than a higher concentration. For example, normally for your face, you would say you would use 2% salicylic acid, but in a patch, a 0.5% salicylic acid should be more than enough because its effect is much stronger. So if you use a 2% salicylic acid in a patch, that will aggravate the region because that's probably like a 4 or 5% salicylic acid and that's too intense. To be safe, only use patches which kind of mentions the percentages of these active ingredients like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Don't use any patches which have got botanical oils in it because that will inflame the region. Normally they might be okay on your skin but when you seal it up in a wound area it can cause a lot of irritation to the area. Again don't use any patches with tea tree oil. Tea tree oil uh, will cause a lot of irritation especially because you are sealing it in that already inflamed area. Patches which has got hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid are helpful. The way to use it is clean your face, make sure you don't apply any skincare product, then apply the patch. No skincare product between the patch and the wound area. It should be clean and the patch goes on top of it. Some examples of patches that you could use are Numa Pimple Patch, Peace Out Skincare Patch. The third type of patches are the hydrocolloid patches with micro needles. They're exactly like the second type with the skincare ingredients but apart from skincare ingredients they also have tiny 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 needles it's not going to hurt you so the logic is these needles kind of push that skincare ingredient into the skin again don't use any wrong ingredients go for patches which mention the concentrations of active ingredients like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide no patches which has got tea tree oil or botanical oils there are some patches in the market which actually have perfume in them please stay away from them it blew my mind when I saw those patches which has got perfume in them. That's going to just aggravate that region and make your healing process really slow. Some examples, my tea patch, Zinsticacula, the Dermaco Micro Tip Patch. A quick reminder that these patches are not actually treating the acne. They aid in the healing, they give them space, and they allow them to heal faster. These are also helpful for mozzy bites, mosquito bites. So we tend to scratch the area when there's a mosquito bite and make it really worse. So if you're scratching it all the time, though it's not an open wound, if you're scratching it, that's what makes it worse. So if you put a patch on it, you're not going to pick on it. You're not going to scratch and that will help the area, the spot to heal faster. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. That really, really help me a lot. Bye for now.